This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. called but I was never going to answer the call he sent me so many voice notes the only reply I ever gave Joey was a voice note I sent him years ago before we started dating This is why I didn't want to ever call him again. I guess the answers were in there. For some funny reasons, I realized I had never moved on from being raped until I had closure with Joey. Now that I know Joey had hurt me this deep, 
I could now accept it and move on. And that's exactly what I did. I moved on. What was my crime? For loving a man too hard? For trusting people I called friends? Yes, mommy. When mommy called me, I could feel a sense of honesty and genuineness in her voice. She had reached a point in her life where her reasons for being a politician were not clouded in greed and personal reasons of trying to put her father in jail. I wanted to see an honest young woman going into politics to see a better life for her people. Casey, I was born into a poor family. When I look back at all the things I've been through, it's not fair for a young girl like me to face such experiences and be deprived of justice. At a very critical time in my life, I was raped. It's not fair for society to attack the victim of rape and praise the ones who did it. I don't want to go into politics because of my father. I want to correct the wrongs. I want to give young girls a better chance at life. I want to make a difference. I want to help people. But Casey, I can do it better if I have influence. Help me to get back in the race. Please. I know I can win this. Now this is what I wanted to hear. For far too long, we have only given greedy politicians the chance to rule us. If we are to change this, it will mean young people like you need to be honest and truthful to the people or else the cycle of corruption will never stop. Mommy, imagine another young girl is raped today. If you don't wake up to stop this, how? How will she ever get the justice? If you are going to win against your father, you need to let the people see how much you love them and how ready you are to serve them. Leadership is service, not power. And that's what I want to be, Casey. I want to be a leader. But let me ask you this. When you called me the first time, where were you? <sighs> Casey, is this fair? I don't get you, mommy. What do you mean by is this fair? I was in Portugal when I called you. Casey, I have seen a lot in my life. But why do men treat women like this? What, what are you talking about, mommy? What at all did I do wrong, Casey? Why do people pay back love with heads and pain? Mommy, talk to me. What is wrong? You know, I told him years back that if he ever hurt me, he would destroy me. Because I had fallen crazily in love with him. And because of how much I loved him, the slightest thing he does to me makes me go mad. Casey, I'm obsessed with Joey. He knows this. So why would he go to the extent of... Faking his own death? What? You knew Joey wasn't dead? Yes, mommy, I know. Joey is alive. Casey! The cult is a very powerful organization, and you need to understand that. When they want something, they will go any length to get it done. How did you know Joe was alive? And you never told me. You aren't supposed to know this, mommy. I buried him, Casey. I saw his body in the coffin. I have been going to his grave for Look, seven years. Let me tell you How this. is Joey alive? His family had to do this to keep him safe. I don't get you. Eight years ago when you were attacked in school by the armed robbers, it wasn't you they were after. I mean, what? technically. Yes, mommy, it was Joey. Let me explain this to you. Joey's father is part of the high-ranking members of this organization, which handles the disbursement of the funds to various governments who receive cash to support rape victims. Unfortunately, because your situation escalated and went viral, some members in the organization wanted to punish Joey's father by having him killed. So, the first attack was planned by your father. Jesus! He was forced to do it. He didn't want to, but they threatened to kill his daughter Francine if they didn't make sure Joey was killed. Oh my god! It gets worse, my dear. Unfortunately, the attackers failed to kill you both. So, when you came out of the hospital, the plan was to poison you both. Again! Your father was asked to make this happen. He told Derek to poison you, but Derek refused the offer and decided not to mix your water with the poison. You remember? Yes, I do. So you mean Derek saved me? Yes, mommy. Derek saved your life. I guess he also loved you very much. You also recalled Joey falling sick, right? Yes, I was told he had kidney complications. It's a lie. 
mummy. Joey's life was in danger. He was also poisoned. That's when he called you. I think that day you were on your way to some park with Kevin. Yes, yes, yes. I, I called. He called me. I went to see him and he had gone so lean. Exactly, mummy. The poison got to him. He nearly lost his life too. So his parents decided to fake his death. That's when his father called you to... To tell me Joey was dead? Yes. Oh my God. So they took him out of the country, but your father did something remarkable. He chose Portugal because it's the only country that the cult has no activity there. So he's safe. So my father knows Joey is alive? Yeah. Yeah, he does. He's been protecting him even from jail. But in recent times, I think it had become very difficult for him. So he had to find a way of getting out. That's when you came into but the picture. how? So is that why he created this whole fake rape thing? Mommy, Honorable Alex is one of the smartest politicians I have ever seen. Trust me. Let me tell you what he did. He knew the cult was going after Joey again. So he spoke to Dr. Addison to lie to the former president that you will be the best candidate for this constituency. Oh, and the former president's fell for it. <laughs> yes, stupidly did. It's politics, mommy. He used that to convince you to stand as MP because it's either you win and free him or lose and free him. Whichever ways, he was surely coming out of that prison. But I guess along the line, he wanted to take back that MP role himself. So wait, Casey, so Joey, why did my father protect him? Very good question, mommy. This is why you need to stop your father from winning this election because Joey's family signed a deal with your father to make sure their son was safe. And trust me, the deal was a lot of money and he is determined to use that money to fund his campaign and possibly become president someday. Your father isn't protecting Joey for you, mummy. Understand that. It's for his own political deal. So why did he try killing him when we were in school? Your father deals with all kinds of people in the cult. He is one of the only people in there who play both sides, so... I guess everybody likes him. So, so what you are saying is that Joey's family chose him to protect Joey because he had access to more information, right? Exactly, mommy. You need to stop your father somehow because the stronger he gets, the deadlier he becomes. But how am I going to stand against such a man? He's your father, mommy. His blood runs through you. You must think like him. There's only a point to which I can help you. But the rest of the journey... You have to walk alone. I guess I'm not supposed to go back to Joey You need then. to let him go, mommy. To you, Joey is dead. And you must make sure your family thinks the same. No one must see him. It was a big mistake for Joey to have bumped into you. And if anyone finds out he's alive, trust me, they will have him murdered. Joey's life now depends on you, mommy. Stay away from him to keep him safe. Wow. Look, if you're going to stand as MP... You're going to need money. Yes, yes, yes. I, I know. I managed to raise $82,000. Yeah. Jackie, huh? Hm. He got you into prostitution? I regret every bit of it, Casey. But I wanted to save money and get back into the race. We all have dirty secrets, mommy. That's okay. Just make sure Jackie and Derek keep this secret safe and for you. And talking about that, how do I get Derek off my case? He has my sex tape. And he says if I dare stand for the elections, he will leak my video. Derek is working for the current government. We must find a way to get rid of that video. I don't know how, but that is the next hurdle ahead of us. Casey, one last question. Yes, go ahead. If Joey is alive, then whose body is in the grave? And that question was worth a million dollars if Casey was going to tell me. She said she couldn't disclose that to me yet because the time wasn't right. I felt very ready to take on this tax of becoming a full-time politician. Hey, mommy. Hi, Richard. Oh, you sound very down. Why? What's wrong? Oh, just one of those days. Anyway, what's up? <sighs> well, nothing really. I was just checking up on you. Thanks. I appreciate it. I guess you're back in town. Yeah. It seems I called at a bad time, right? I'm sorry, but kind of. Do you want to talk about what's keeping you down? Oh, I will be okay. But wait, 
let me ask you, when I mentioned my name the first time, you sounded a bit confused. Is there a reason? Oh, that... <laughs> I... I... Okay, I was just surprised to be talking to you, that's all. Do you know me? <laughs> I mean, who doesn't know Jessie Mamilenzi? Like, you're the most popular young woman in the country, and I've just followed you for a while now. Rich's call to me was not at the right time, but at the same time, it was a perfect opportunity to just hear a different voice in my ears. Something refreshing for a change. First off, I can call you back later if you're not in the mood to talk. I was just checking up on you since uh, you traveled. It's fine. Um, you've been helpful to me. I think I owe you a little bit of my time. So tell me a bit about you as well. Mm, about me? Well, <laughs> let's see. Um, so I work at the bank as customer service. I bet you know that already. Even though I hate this job. like, And I did my national service after uni. And I've been trying to get a better job, but still, like, nothing. Yeah, I can imagine. But mind me asking, um, when is your birthday? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Go on, say it. You're not a girl to be hiding your age and stuff like that. Well, we share the same birthday. Oh, you're kidding me, right? 27 July? Hold on, hold on. Let me send you a copy of my passport and uh, you see for yourself. It's 27th. Oh, wow. For real? It's true. <laughs> so coincidental. Hmm. <laughs> I've seen your face as well. Yeah, that's me, Richard. <laughs> hey, so if you try to scam me, I just shared this with the police. <laughs> oh, please. I'm not like that at all. But uh, I've been meaning to ask you. I saw a post on an artwork about you standing as an MP, but I haven't seen you post anything again. Yeah... I had a little issue, so I went on hold, but I'm resuming it again. Oh, oh, okay. But just be careful out there, because politics is like a very dangerous space to play in. I think I've learned that lesson very well. Trust me, I had to sort out a few things, but now I'm very ready. But let me confess, I actually heard of you for the first time from my boss at work. Oh, really? And who is your boss? So I used to work with Daytech Technologies. What? So you know Casey and Derek? Oh yeah, very, very well. Derek was my direct boss. I remember he made me get a brand new laptop from the warehouse for you, but he told me to keep it low-key, you get me? That's when I first heard him talk about you. Oh, I see. Hmm, Derek. Yeah, no need to say, I know. That guy is just an asshole. He's the reason I left Daytech. But wait, how long did you work at Daytech? Um... I think I did about five years. I started when I was in uni. So, what exactly made you leave there? Oh, it's another long story. <laughs> but this matter, if I tell you, it has to be a secret between us. You promise me? I know. We haven't met before. But trust me, when I'm loyal to someone, I give my all to the person. Hmm. I think I can trust you. Okay, so when we were in uni, right? There was this girl called Jackie that Derek was having an affair with. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say Jackie? Yeah, why? Do you know her? Yeah, I think I do. Anyway, like I said, so Derek was having an affair with Jackie. But the twist was that Derek had introduced his friend Chris to her. So they were dating. You mean Derek introduced Chris to Jackie. But Derek was still having an affair with Jackie on the side, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to say this, but he was doing this whilst he was also dating you, mommy. Oh my god, I see. But that was a long time ago. Did Chris ever find out Derek was sleeping with Jackie? Nope. And even until now, Derek is still fucking Jackie. Richard, wait. Did you say Jackie's still fucking Derek? How do you know this? <laughs> because till today, they're still paying me some money to keep quiet about something I saw. Richard, what did you see? <laughs> Mommy, I need to trust you. Richard, I swear, I will marry you if I have to. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna send you a video. Please, mommy, in heaven's name, keep this video between us. Is your WhatsApp working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it. Mm.
I watched the video in disbelief. What the hell did I just watch? Derek and Jackie were exactly where I wanted them to be. Jackie would beg me with her blood, I swear. Yeah, mommy. So, sometime last year, I, I went to see Jackie because I needed a job. But when I got there, she didn't see me come in. She was in the hall with Derek. Look, the white substance you see in the video is cocaine. Oh no. Richard, what are you saying? Yes, Derek and Jackie are into coke. So I stayed behind and filmed everything and, and took some pictures. Now the government officials they were dealing with, the guys at the airport who helped them to ship the cocaine through immigration and more. I mean like it's a whole syndicate. Well, I've been very kind to them by keeping the secret. But trust me, if this falls into the wrong hands, they are dead. Are they still into this drug business? Till this very minute as we speak, mommy. Hold on, I even have some other videos. You know, I stood there for a while and they didn't notice until they started having... Having sex. Yep, sex. Right before my eyes, mommy. But with this information, Richard, you could be wealthy. I don't get you. Well, maybe I've not had the courage to do stuff like that. You know, just that once in a while, Derek and Jackie will give me some money. But that's just to keep me from talking. I, I told them I had deleted the videos. Do you have the sex tape? Yeah, you want it? Yes, I want it. Please, I beg you. No, 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 no need to beg me, mommy. I'll, I'll send it to you. But Richard, why are you doing this for me? <sighs> Look, my elder brother is at the psychiatric hospital as we speak. Oh, why? What's wrong with him? Drugs, mommy. Drugs. And it's because of people like Derek and Jackie. Like, do you know the money we've spent on hospital bills? Like, I've never had the courage to face them. But if you are willing to do something with this, then go ahead, mommy. Look, I want to leave this job. I, 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 want, I want to work for you, mommy. I want to be part of your campaign. Like, look, I would drop my resignation at the bank today. Hey, if you said yes. You know what? I don't just trust people easily because of what I've been through. Just as you have given me your trust by sharing these videos, I will give you mine by working with you. But Richard, I'm watching you. Just remember. Forming a new team was what I needed to do now. I wanted Kevin back, but he was nowhere to be found. I failed the first time, but what was important was standing up again. I called my father. <laughs> a father and a daughter standing for one constituency and you think you can win this? I, I don't know <laughs> what winning means to you, but it seems you're a very powerful man, daddy. Powerful is an understatement, my daughter. You are growing and I bet you're realizing adulthood is not as easy as you thought it would be, <laughs> isn't it? That, that's much you are right. Maybe it's the only thing that you and I will agree on. Adulthood is not easy. But daddy, I have made my mistakes. And so have you. But my mistakes were because of the things you did to me. Did to you? Mommy, did to you? Do you know what has been done to me? <laughs> not like I care. But I want to ask you, daddy. Do you love me? <sighs> I thought so. You can't answer it, can you? To be honest, a father will always have love for her daughter. But mommy, he, you didn't grow up with me. Neither did I know you even existed. What is the difference, father? Whether I grew up with you or not, am I not your daughter? True. Yes, you are. So what stopped you from taking me as your rightful responsibility and taking care of me? Sorry shouldn't be difficult for you to say. You've just been stubborn, mommy. And you really never gave me a chance to apologize properly. Who is supposed to be doing the hard work? After all, you slept with me. That was easy for you to do. But maybe a few years ago, sex was a big deal to me. But not anymore. I have no emotions towards men who have sex with me. Mommy, that was a big mistake I made. My emotions got carried away. Because of a cult? But well done. <laughs> you have done the worst to your own daughter. No matter how you try to break me apart, what you need to know is, mommy is still standing. <laughs> Something will break you down, my daughter, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you raped me. You tried to kill me twice. You set me up to free you. I have faced all the humiliation the world could throw at me. But I'm still here. Right. But becoming an MP will not work. Look, you aren't ready for this. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Daddy, ready? I was born ready 
and I know you are scared of losing. It's all in your voice. Daddy, you are so scared, Look, mommy, aren't you? This is the last time I'm going to offer you a deal. This is the last time I'm going to ask you to get out of my sight and never return. How dare you? You have no idea what I have planned for you. And if it means I have to personally kill you, Daddy, I will. Don't ever think I have any single ounce of love for you. I will not have you speak to me this way, small girl. Small girl, huh? What do you mean? Even an elephant fears the mounts. I put you in jail before. I think I need to remind <laughs> you of that. And you think jail could stop me? Obviously. I was wrong to have put you there in the first place. We won't be doing jail next time, daddy. <laughs> I will bury you. Mark my words. Let me tell you this. I will be president, mommy. Watch me. And if I become president, you will not survive in this country. Daddy, I have a simple message for you. Every day you breathe, just watch your back because I'll be right behind you, ready with a knife to stab you. I don't have time for you anymore. I will see you on the ballot box. Hi, is this Richard? Hi, this is Richard. Um, who am I speaking to? Richard, my name is Joey. I need your help. I need to get to Mame. 